Africa Adventure, Part 1. Episode, Hunting for Buffalo, Dyker, and Zebra. The hunt is on. Today marks the beginning of an adventure we have been planning for a long time. We are in Tanzania at Kilimanjaro Airport. We continue with a small propeller plane to the famous hunting ground of Michel Manthikas. Our hunting adventure was organized by Westphalia Jagdreisen under the direction of Josef. We can therefore expect everything to run smoothly. We start our venture with great anticipation. We will be met by Blake, Michelle's expert professional hunter. As will become clear in the next two weeks, he knows his trade very well. You might have some good luck. You guys have got in early, you're gonna do some hunting, we'll have some lunch, get settled in. Great. Our camp is situated in the middle of the jungle, just a few minutes drive from the airstrip. We arrive a few weeks later than originally planned, and to make matters worse, there was a long period of rain, which was to have a major impact on the behavior of the wildlife. So we were in for an additional big challenge. For the time being, we are very eager to see the conditions on the ground and what our reception will be like. We immediately feel welcome here. The facility is very inviting and appealing. We can hardly wait to take a closer look at our tents. So we got hot water, electricity, all the light switches on pull switches. Our rooms are just perfect. Each tent has its own shower and toilet facilities. As it turns out, the food is also first class. It's a really good place to stay. One must not forget the fact that we are in the middle of the jungle, far away from any civilization. After some excellent refreshments, we go straight on to the hunting grounds. When we return to the car after the first stalk, we immediately have a breathtaking, unexpected sight. A young elephant of about 30 years is obviously not pleased to see us here. After a short display of impertinence, he disappears into the jungle as quickly as he appeared. This makes us realize how dense the jungle is when even a full-grown elephant can't really be made out a few yards away. Suddenly, we approach some harder beasts. They leap off. As there happens to be a strong one amongst them, we start to stalk them. We change our minds about pursuing the harder beasts and continue stalking in this area as the terrain is very promising for pushing Diker. Blake has already spotted one. The only question is whether he is old enough. Dikers always stay in the thickest possible bushes of the jungle and dive through the undergrowth when disturbed, hence the name Diker, which means diver. They live alone or in pairs. If there are territorial fights, they are fought out with their small horns. It is a suitable diker, and a very old one at that. 
Our hunter only needs a small, reasonably clear field of fire. This should do the trick. And indeed, our hunter manages to take the shot through the almost non-existent firing window. The Diker is caught in the gunfire. With this, we have started in Africa with the smallest game species, which we are planning to hunt some more of in the area. You see the fighting, breaking his horns. Very delicious. When we finally see the lights of our camp after a long drive, we look forward first to a shower, then to a delicious meal, and above all, to sitting together around the idyllic campfire with good conversation among friends. Before we finally go to the tent, we discuss the plan for tomorrow. We have a particularly exciting hunt ahead of us. We hunt for buffalo, or as the locals say, we hunt for dagger boys. As we cross an area that is very promising for buffalo, Blake spots a herd of zebra. Now, everything happens very quickly. You see the one just right of the big tree. The strong stallion goes down immediately due to the perfectly placed shot. After an extended photo session, the buffalo hunt continues. Our African friends have already discovered tracks from a single buffalo. This means that there is a high probability that it is both an old and a suitable buffalo. So we stalk after it. It is unbelievable how fast our trackers are following the buffalo. Are they even on the right track? For us, it seems at the moment as if we were simply stalking in the jungle and not as if we were trying to track a single buffalo. But regardless, we will soon see for ourselves and are already excited to see what else we will experience on this stalk. Our hunter suddenly spots a movement in the thicket, and we can hardly believe that it is indeed a single buffalo, which is now watching us as well. Now is the time to not make any unnecessary movements. Dean, our stalking guide for today, brings our hunter close enough to be able to approach the buffalo properly, and, if it is old enough, perhaps also be allowed to shoot it. The buffalo does not give us the pleasure of being able to approach it properly. We just have to be patient. Then we might get the right angle to approach it. Our patience is rewarded and we can approach him well enough. Many questions run through our minds. Is it a suitable buffalo? Will he hold steady long enough? Is it even possible to think of a shot in this situation? After all, once again, it is only a small shooting window. After a second look with the binoculars, 
Dean is now sure. It's an old buffalo. Now it's just a matter of finding a suitable shooting position. The tension has already reached a high, almost unbearable level. But with the decision to shoot, it rises even more. Will our master marksman be able to master this difficult situation and take a safe shot at this defenseless game? Will the buffalo remain in the firing line? Or will he perhaps attack us in the end? Thanks to the 416 Rigby, our master marksman only needs one perfectly aimed shot to bring the buffalo to the ground. Everything was controlled and done right. With the necessary calmness, the enormous tension was withstood and a safe shot brought the huge buffalo to the ground. The exhausting and in the dense jungle difficult yet extremely exciting buffalo hunt was successfully completed. Our hunter deserves a hearty good hunting. Very good. But that is not all. In the next few days we will be hunting buffalo again. But that's the subject of one of our next episodes of The Record-Breaking Hunter. This much can be said for now. Once again, the hunt was a thrilling and successful one. <laughs>